So hello everybody. So this is Dee, the founder of the Health and Fitness and also um, the program Naked Fit Online. And I um, might change the name at some point. And um, so uh, you know where to find me. Go to you know Instagram, go to Facebook. You can find it Naked Fit. Uh, on uh, Instagram, you can go Dmago Happy Naked and you can find more stuff. You can also go to Amazon and get your book, the copy of your book, Happy Naked. And you can get your journal also, which is uh, the lifestyle journal. And that is for your tracking. It is super important. You don't know whether you are progressing or getting a stock or what is affecting you without tracking. So tracking, it is super, super important. And I want to talk today about breathing okay and uh, we are on day three on a breathing challenge i wouldn't say breathing challenge i would say just you know 30 days of breathing and creating community and holding yourself accountable by showing up every day at noon for the next 30 days that's ultimately what it is and uh, so that inspired me to speak a little bit about breathing today which is something that we take for granted because, oh, we're alive. Yes, I'm breathing. Uh, what is happening is we do not understand how uh, poor breathing, it might be affecting your health. And what I mean with that is uh, there is something called mouth breathing. What it is, is a lot of people uh, that are snore, they're mouth breathing. That's most likely what's going to happen. Uh, when you're mouth breathing, what it does is eventually over time, it's gonna change the, um, uh, the, the physiological part of your face. I hope I'm saying this right. Your physiognomy, I think that's a word. Um, so it's gonna change it. Why? Because you, when you're not breathing through your nose, it is basically gonna make your nostrils smaller because what it means is, oh, that person is not using the nose. No problem. Then it changes. It changes your face, so meaning um, like your jaw, instead of being square, generally speaking, it is going to drop more. And you can look into that in um, online. You can look for you can look for videos on YouTube that it says mouth breathing effects on the face, and then you will see how it changes. It changes everything. It changes the muscles. And uh, because there is, is a whole connection here between your nose and your mouth and how it goes all the way down to your lungs. And it changes everything. <coughs> so that being said, we really, really want to be fully aware of how we're breathing. The other aspect of that, which is something I have been seeing very often when I do the biofeedback analysis, which is a machine, that it scans your body and it gives us information about your body, it is our lung capacity has been reduced for some reason. And um, I know some of those reasons uh, that I, they're, they're the reasons that I'm aware of. And one of them is uh, the 5G towers, as we're more exposed to these electromagnetic frequencies, it might affect our lung capacity. It might affect our lung, our oxygen levels. It might affect our way how we're breathing. There is a whole study around that, and um, and that and as is the um, the government and technology install more five G towers, which are very close. They're get in order for the technology to be more efficient. The towers have to be closer, and I believe it's 100 meters, you know, in distance between one and the other, which means that our communication will be faster and all those sort of things. However, it will affect our health in some ways. Some people might be able to identify that. Some people might go to the doctor and say, you know what, I feel this, and the doctor might not be able to give you an answer because they don't know. And uh, so anyway, so there are so many things that happened, um, like weight, excess weight. It can also uh, limit your nose breathing. You feel that, oh my God, I cannot breathe. And then, then you go, your alternative is I'm going to do mouth breathing. So all those things are, are areas that we really, really want to be aware of. 
Uh, there is another part of this is in the fitness industry, we have been told that we inhale and then exhale when you're like, let's say, let's say squat, you like go inhale and then whoo, and then you go and then you excel and you exert all this air through your mouth. So that being said, just be aware of that. In my mind, every time we do this inhale and we exhale, like there, there are a few things that happened when we're exercising, it's like you're releasing all that energy. You want to contain that energy because it's what is gonna help you to do that final rep that you cannot do, for example. Uh, the other thing is it can be used, the, the exhale with a side, for example, it can be used also to release some pressure out of your body. Let's say you inhale, and then you go, you feel some pressure on your right shoulder. So let's say you inhale and you picture as you exhale, all this just goes. And then you go, and release it. Okay. So it is with the intention of release, which is why when we're exercising, I want to make sure that you guys breathe in through your nose exhale through your nose because you want to keep that energy inside of you to help you finish up with your round. So I hope I'm getting my message across and you start being more conscious of your breath, meaning inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. And when you do that consciously, most likely it's going to affect in a good way, your sleep. It's going to affect your weight. It is going to affect how you absorb nutrients because it's going to create the right balance between oxygen and CO2 in your system, right? So all the stuff that I'm talking about, I, I, you're like, what are you referring to? All that stuff, information is out there. You just need to Google it. All I'm doing here, it is giving you practical information. And that's it. You want to know the science behind it and everything that I'm talking about, Google it. But there's another thing that you can do as well. You can read this book that is called The Oxygen Advantage. And The Oxygen Advantage, Advantage is uh, by uh, Patrick McEwan. And it says the simple and scientifically proven breathing techniques for a healthier, slimmer, faster, and fitter you. Uh, there is there is a Wim Hof technique. You can go to YouTube and get do 10 minutes of breathing exercises with Wim Hof. There's also another one that I don't think it is very popular, uh, but it's called the Buteyko breathing. And it's uh, basically the Buteyko breathing. It is pretty much what it's in this book. Uh, you can also follow that and see what it's all about. However, be mindful of your breath. Another thing that Dave Asprey talk, and they talk about that in this book, actually, and I, I hear now Dave, uh, Dave Asprey talking about it, which is funny. It is tape your mouth. I didn't know that it was a special mouth tape for this, but you tape your mouth uh, at night, you just go, so then again, because as you can train yourself during the day to breathe through your nose, you can also train, can train yourself to breathe through your mouth, through your nose, sorry, at night. So then during the day, you don't have to think about it. So it is like, you know, one helping the other one, and maybe you see what's, what's easy, but definitely tape your mouth. He talks about that. He actually suggests that in this book, and I recently heard Davey Asprey talking about it, and I think Brian Greenfield, I think he also mentioned it, and it seems there is a special tape. You know what? Just get duct tape and tape your mouth. That's it. You don't really need to get anything fancy. So um, let's plan, let's plan for that. Think about it, be conscious and start understanding when you're exercising, how are you breathing? Are you using your mouth or are you using your nose? If you're using your mouth, you're gonna tape your mouth when you're exercising and you're gonna force yourself to breathe through your nose. 
So that is the talk for today. And I hope you um, start putting all this stuff into practice because it's very important. And you can visit Naked Fit that online and you can book some time with me.